may be quite audacious to state that we are in a new renaissance period in the field of irritable bowel syndrome, but I believe it is fair to say that this new period started for our laboratory at the time when we received funding from the AGA Research Foundation. We felt we needed to develop new non-invasive methods um, that would allow us to evaluate the functions of the stomach, the intestine and the colon. So as part of the uh, AGA Research Foundation's award, we had developed and validated the non-invasive transit measurement, which allows us to assess how fast or slow content moves through the colon. By doing this, we are able to assess whether a medication is actually going to be efficacious when it's tested in larger clinical trials. And up to now, we have a 100% success rate in predicting whether such a medication would be efficacious or not. I'm participating in this trial because um, it's difficult living with IBS, and I think it's important to try and find an answer not only for myself, but others who are also struggling with IBS. We are working to try to identify the individual factor that may be responsible for the patient's symptoms. And this will allow us to personalize treatment for every single patient. And for us to reach this goal of personalized care, more research funding is going to be necessary. In order to start to develop these non-invasive tests, it was essential to have seed grants. Yes, my institution was providing some support as a young faculty member in in uh, the gastroenterology division at the Mayo Clinic, but it was also very important to have the support uh, which I was very fortunate to receive from the AGA Research Foundation. Uh, Dr. Camilleri's research and his trial is important to me because I think it will offer me hope for the future and better quality of life for myself as well. Having been personally a recipient of the awards from the AGA Research Foundation, I believe it is now my responsibility also to give back to the Research Foundation. Advancements in gastroenterology, the renaissance in different aspects of gastroenterology is going to require research funding. I think this is one of the ways in which I will impact not only the careers of young colleagues, but ultimately patient care. I give back because I look forward to young investigators continuing this renaissance in gastroenterology. Support the AGA Research Foundation today.